All right, crew, today we're going to take a look at uh, Create and Showroom, talk about MDLs, add MDLs to your current uh, materials list, and yeah, just nerd out in Omniverse, so take a look. All right, so I've gone ahead and loaded a file that I worked on. It's just a whole bunch of spheres that I put in space, and I just applied a ton of different textures to each one of them, kind of showcasing the diversity, and then also some of the, uh, I don't know, characteristics, I suppose, of MDLs. Makes them really fun. You have bump, you have opacity. A couple of these have bloom. I don't have bloom turned on on my camera, but they, they'll glow. Um, there's like grass and leaves and metal, all different types of metal. You have juice and jello and all kinds of fun stuff. So look at that reflection right there. Pretty cool. So uh, MDLs are fun. They are a uh, relatively accurate representation of, of real world materials. Uh, some are better than others. It's just the nature of the beast. But generally speaking, if you're using MDL materials, you're already headed in the right direction. And you, know, you can customize them as you see fit. So you, know, you could select a material that's close enough and then go ahead and make your tweaks and make it look like yours and then re-export and save it yourself. So I also wanted to show you today how you can add MDLs to your current materials list in view and create. And one of the resources that's available in the Omniverse kit is this uh, A23D content. And so if you go to the exchange, you can scroll down, find A23D, click the external link, and then you can browse to their website where you can scroll down and download um, all of these other materials. And so there's ends up being about, I think, 18 different materials here that you can download and add to your library. You'll have to unzip them when you download them and then just save them in a spot that makes sense, right? So to add that, then you're going to go down over here to your materials tab. Uh, you can see I have my my other materials here from the install. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a new collection and I'm gonna browse for the materials that I downloaded and unzipped and I just saved them in this folder called materials. Now, if I select this folder, it's gonna give me this upper folder with you know these eight or nine different sub menus. I could select this folder, in which case I would just get the two, uh, the two materials here. So, there's not enough here to do individual data sets, I don't think. I think I'm just going to lump them all together, right? So I'm going to select materials and then click select, and then you can see them load in your UI. And we have our base, VM, and then the materials that I just labeled material. Now, some of these don't have previews, so you'll have to right click and then generate thumbnail. This actually exits you out of your current scene, so you'll see it. Uh, kind of transition to the sphere and then boom, put the, the wicker sort of texture and color and bump onto a sphere and then capture that thumbnail and then save it to your UI. So you can do that for all of these. You can also left click this hog icon and select to generate thumbnail for selected or for the whole category or the current collection. So that can save you some time too. Uh, just as a side note, if you do the whole collection, it can take quite a bit of time. So if you got other things to do, um, maybe do it before you go to bed, right? We'll just try one more here, generate thumbnail. It's pretty snappy once you get into this interface. Okay, cool, we got brick. We'll do a couple more just so you can see what you're getting into when you get the download. I really like the bump on this, it looks really good. The bump texture. Yeah, some fun materials. I feel like I should just do the rest of these because I'm curious. Yeah, okay. Another wicker. Doesn't look like that one actually made it through. Um, same with that one, unless it's just red. Unlikely, but could be. So we're going to take a look at one more thing here just real quick. We're going to close down, create... And we're just going to look at Showroom because it's a fun little tool. So Showroom was added maybe 
four months ago, I want to say. And they have two data sets right now. I'm going to go ahead and launch this, wait for it to load. They have two data sets right now. One of them's interactive. The other one's kind of like a show and tell. But I feel like the intent of showroom is kind of just that. Like, hey, show me something in a nutshell. Like, what, what can I do with this? Or what sort of physics are available, you know? And these kind of give you like a little taster, teaser into physics. And then to also the quality of the textures, the quality of the MDL materials. You really get an up close personal feel on these, uh, these demo sets so that you can get an idea about the quality of renderings you're going to get out of Omniverse. Um, and furthermore, not just Omniverse, but iRay, right? And ray casting and so on. So I'm going to click on shaders, the shader balls, and then click open demo. It's going to launch the demo. Usually loads pretty snappy. Yep, here we go. Exactly. So you get some metallic sort of gloss, uh, some transparent with some widgets in the inside of it. Look kind of fun. Wrinkled cloth. This is really fun too. I kind of wish this was interactive at the bottom. It's like little ribbon. The first thing I did when I loaded this, I tried to click on these to change the color. That would have been cool. Here's an example of a uh, bloom. Some more textures. This is like a metal texture. And they cycle through. There's a whole bunch. There's more than just what we're showing here. Fun stuff. Great looking materials, especially when they're rendered this fast. So let's go ahead and look at this Zen Garden real quick, because this one's actually interactive. Again, these load pretty quickly, which is nice. And then you don't have to have a massive GPU to run this either. You can see that I'm using about four gigs of VRAM right now. So lots of NVIDIA cards were on that, right? So you can see there's wind magnitude, direction, and noise that is driving the waves in the sand. And you can take these little sliders here at the bottom and kind of mess with them so you can change the direction and then you get to see how it solves over time. Super fun, very interactive. Uh, meanwhile, I didn't tell you, but in the last one too, I didn't rotate, but you can rotate all these models, zoom in, zoom out, kind of look around. Go below the floor, apparently. <laughs> um, on this one, you know what I really wanted to do in this one was grab this rake and then kind of rake through it. I guess I'm just dreaming. But nonetheless, still really cool content here. Okay, so that's my quick look at MDL materials, uh, adding MDL materials to view and create, and then the showing off a showroom. And then also, hopefully, you got the idea about why MDL materials are so important and so special they make our renderings look awesome. Hey, I can't do this without you guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for some more videos.